Let's all say hello to Nissan the Hyperforce. Nissan just revealed the Hyperforce, an all-electric sports car with 1,341 HP and a whole lot of GTR DNA. Although the company playfully refrains from directly mentioning it, you can see it everywhere, even in the pixelated illuminated badge. Before we start our review, tell us in the comment below how much you rank it out of 10. The concept features Nissan's E-Force all-wheel control technology lightweight construction, and a solid-state battery. It's the finale of a weeks-long string of concept reveals from Nissan, and it's clearly the firework of the bunch. EVs are known for excessive weight, but Nissan has tried its best to shave pounds off the hyperforce. The body, for example, has been constructed out of high-strength and lightweight carbon fiber. Solid-state battery technology has been packaged here for the best possible weight distribution. Nissan says the sporting concept delivers superb handling capabilities on the track and road. Couple that with the extreme styling, and it's clear that the Hyperforce serves as a glimpse into the future of the Nissan GT-R. The electric supercar's exterior is dramatic, melding futuristic design with classic Nissan sports car traits. With a ground-hugging stance, the Hyperforce looks ready to pounce at a moment's notice. There's something retro about the angular design, contributing to the impressive aerodynamic performance that was worked on in conjunction with the Nismo racing team. Nissan president and CEO Makoto Akita says that all five concept cars showcased today are symbols of the future and embody our founding spirit of daring to do what others don't. We have advanced our EV innovations, moving beyond mobility to create a more sustainable world. The EVs symbolize our future of creating a cleaner, safer, and more inclusive world for everybody without compromising on passions and dreams. Through the power of innovation, Nissan is creating a future where everyone can enjoy the excitement of mobility. Nissan hasn't stopped there. The front canards, rear wing, and front fender flip have active aero capabilities. The automaker has also created a plasma actuator that suppresses air detachment to maximize grip and minimize inner wheel life during cornering. The wheels have been designed to cool the brakes and cut through the air as cleanly as possible. They're finished in forged carbon fiber, which can also be found on the bumpers, rear wing, and diffuser. Enter the cabin through the striking scissor doors, and you're greeted by a fascia that looks lifted out of a video game. That's no surprise. As Nissan says, the Hyperforce was designed for racing. Enthusiasts and gamers who want an environmentally responsible performance car. The display and instrument panel graphics were desic. Met in collaboration with Polyphony Digital, the team behind the Gran Turismo racing simulation. The interior adapts to the chosen theme, 
of which there are two, are racing and GT Grand Touring. Choose our mode, and the cabin is bathed in an intense red glow. The intuitive cockpit reconfigures itself, allowing the driver to concentrate. The dashboard panels extend toward the seats, creating a Hemden feel for the driver, for screens around the steering wheel display vital. Information, such as power distribution, tire grip, and brake temperature, things you need to know when racing around a track. But once you're done hooning around your local raceway, the Hyperforce can be placed in GT mode in this setting. The cabin is transformed into a relaxing environment. The harsh red ambient lightning makes way for a calming blue, while the screens around the steering will move away and come together to create one more extensive interface. The current R35 GTR has been around for quite some time, soon. Nissan will stop facelifting its aging halo car and introduce a new model. While Nissan has yet to decide Godzilla's future, the Hyperforce points to an all-electric GTR. Let's not forget the automaker wants to launch 23. EVs by 2030, so this could be one of them. While Nissan isn't saying anything about this, being the future design language of the next-gen GTR, it's not not saying that either. In fact, there are a number of hints that it might indeed influence the next super sports car. First of all, there's no mistaking those tail lights as a signature of the Godzilla, dating back multiple generations. Secondly, that pixelated badge on the front sure is familiar. Finally, the company did acknowledge that the design pays homage to Nissan's high-performance cars.